everyone. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am so sorry for being so late. This stream has been ready for hours and um, I had to run a new update on my system. And then once I got the system up, I realized <gasps> my streaming software is not compatible with this new system. So I had to figure out a fix. This is messy. So thank you for hanging with me. Thank you for all of you that stayed in chat and hung out. Um, we've covered a lot of like, I don't know, reality TV trash lately. And I thought this would be a fun way to mix it up because, um, you know, I like to do more than just reality television. And I saw this actually trending on Twitter and I was like, oh, this would be a fun story to talk about. Um, so <laughs> if you are a um, NFL fan, a um, NFL reporter <laughs> named um, Jane Slater. She actually is a, she is in charge or she's responsible for doing the Cowboys. So she is sort of the on the, on the ground cowboy reporter for the NFL network. She is, I guessing, well respected in this world on her Twitter. She seems to be pretty I don't know, not super thrilled with Jerry Jones this season. I have no idea what's going on with the Cowboys this year. I don't pay attention to them. But um, she was actually sharing a, she shared a tweet a couple days ago when there was this commercial. So let's start from the beginning. There's this, there's this commercial for this bike, this stationary bike called the Peloton. And in the commercial, the woman is given the Peloton from her husband for her for Christmas and she documents through like her phone like hey it's like my, my third time yay you know um and apparently at the end of it it's like she makes this video for her husband a year later and it's like thank you I never thought I could do this before and I was like and a lot of people are mad about it they think that it sends the wrong message that you know men women would never work out unless the man tells them to do stuff that kind of stuff so um that got a response from her to actually like retweet one of her colleagues and then she opened up about something that happened to her related to technology and men so as the peloton like commercial went bust on twitter Jane shared this, which is actually kind of funny. Hold on a second. So it says, an ex-boyfriend once got me a Fitbit for Christmas and I loved it. We synced up, motivated each other, didn't hate it until he accounted, until he was accounted for at 4 a.m. and his physical activities levels were spiking on the app. Wish the story wasn't real. And she um, was retweeting, I uh, got my wife a Peloton for years ago and she was not offended. Spoiler alert, he was not enrolled in an Orange Theory class at 4 a.m. So um, <laughs> she also went on to share, I got, I also got a guy drunk. I also had a guy get drunk and bring home another girl forgetting I was spending the night there. We were set to go to church the next morning and I stayed in to get sleep. I could write a book. Um, and then she responded to someone saying, my girlfriend once said, one day we will laugh about this as I sobbed uncontrollably in the car. I am now many, I have now many times, bah ha 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 ha. So naturally, this has gotten a lot of attention. Someone actually said, I called my ex repeatedly one night without an answer, which was very bizarre, especially because it was my birthday. I continued calling throughout the night until he accidentally picked up on his Apple watch my deaf with another girl from his hometown lol good times and she said it was his birthday i was at his home with balloons ahead of a birthday i had planned for the next day oh my gosh <laughs> then they then someone said tag him or it didn't happen and she said my dallas friends know who it is not trying to name check and then when people started like calling out her ex-boyfriend, she said, disclaimer, I feel the need to defend the honor of my ex-boyfriend in Austin. He's received a number of group text inquiries and he is not the man I reference in the tweet below. In fact, Austin boyfriend was one of the best boyfriends I ever had. Our issue was timing, not cheating. And then someone was asking like, if this was a, a 
a case, um, if it had to go into the legal system, she said cross-examines, but sir, where were you? The accuser was at your home. You did not answer your phone or text and your car was gone. You stated you were sleeping on a friend's couch, but are an admitted germaphobe who prefers the comforts of your own bed. And then others started chiming in and sharing theirs, um, saying, um, what's wrong? It says that the connection's working. You guys can't hear me? Everything should be fine. Okay. Um, then it says, Jane, my ex-husband got caught. My husband got caught in an affair because he was wearing the training watch and a heartbeat monitor and my mom caught bottom for Christmas while running. It was under one minute heart spike. The con that confirmed things for me. Um, and then someone and then someone said, thank you. You've supplied America with a much needed laugh over the last 24 hours. Incredible. You, and she said, who knew my mess could be a message? Stay woke, of, <laughs> stay woke men of America. She will lose you and the weight. So I was like thinking about this. Um, what are the chances that this kind of stuff happens? I was trying to find any other indications online that this was even something that's real. I have not seen any other stories related to this, but it doesn't surprise me because with the way that the Fitbits are, you can actually um, sync it up and you can follow friends. You can also have um, family accounts where you all have access to the same account. And so when you sync, you can actually check somebody and see how they're doing throughout the day. So um, it's funny to think about it in this way because would that mean that she's like at home, she's waiting for him to come home, he's not coming back, and then she just was like, oh, I should just go see what his Fitbit's doing. Like, I just, I wanna know, um, I wanna know how she figured this out. Like, what prompted her to go into the Fitbit to see what his Fitbit activity was? Like, how did that even cross her mind? That's definitely not something I would even think or consider doing. So, with that being said, I want to know if you have had anything similar like this happen in your life where you have been able to catch someone doing something um, through their use of their Fitbit or been able to, you know, check, like, check out, like, catch a X and a lie through their technology. I mean, technology is great in one respect, but then it's a total curse in other ways because it's almost as though, you know, we're always being watched by someone. So... I um I thought this one was super funny. I don't know that. <laughs> oh, I don't know, you guys. I think it's funny, but um I think it's definitely like it's gone viral at this point. I think she's like she went up massively in uh, views. I didn't even know who Jane Slater was before this, and she has been like the story has been everywhere. It's been on like People and you know, CNN and like everyone is talking about this. I've literally never heard of someone checking, being able to like find someone cheating through technology, like a Fitbit. It's actually kind of amazing. And then just being like, oh, your activity level at 4 a.m. was spiking. I wonder like were its heartbeats per minute up? Like <laughs> what was it that? <laughs> oh yeah, Nick Nick says you can get a notification from the Fitbit when you hit, hit a certain goal. So did he reach his peak heartbeats per minute at 4 a.m.? Um, was he, you know, going to, I don't know, finding the, you know, digging in the rabbit hole and then he was like super excited and then that his, he was just like, I'm just, I'm dying here. I'm just, I cannot in a million years fathom. Um, I don't think it's funny that he cheated. No, I did not say that. I think it's, funny like how do you figure this out what what were the metrics like it's ironic in a it's anyways I don't think it's funny that he cheated I think it's like interesting ironic that the Fitbit is really what helped her and the data on there is what helped her determine it more than anything so um technology is definitely crazy like that um So with that being said, 
<laughs> my gal pal butt dialed her her fiance and was talking about how great her love life was with her ex-boyfriend and he never heard the message but she almost died that was the mo oh my gosh flower power resistance shares that um note to self keep the fitbit home and unsynced if i ever leave the house says mandy so i want to know has your fitbit ever caught you doing something you shouldn't be doing or got you into trouble or have you caught someone else through a fitbit getting into trouble Tell me in the comments below and I'll be back in a little while. Bye guys.